Hey guys, what up? It's JC Gaming here, and I'm bringing you a tutorial video today. Today we're going to go over how to record your own voice, and this is going to be a part one, part uh, two part series here, in one video. But how to record your own voice in one part, and then how to uh, get your voice voice through party chat. So what you'll need, at least for the first part, to record your own voice, you'll need uh, some headsets. I'm gonna show off the wireless headsets today, so that's what I'm gonna go with. I have the Turtle Beach Stealth um, 400s here, which I'm gonna show off, and then I have uh, the Elgato HD60 and the Elgato software, obviously for the HD60. So, what you're gonna need also is a digital optical cord and a USB transmitter if you uh, have Turtle Beach wireless headsets. Here's the transmitter, this like USB sticking thing. It has a USB stick and it goes into the USB port. And then you also have uh, a digital optical cord uh, right here that runs along uh, right here and into the back of the PS4. So, first we're going to start off with is first plug in your USB transmitter uh, that you get with the um, Turtle Beach headsets. Plug this into a USB port into the side of your computer, laptop, desktop, whatever you're using. And then if you have the digital optical cord um, from from your package that you got your Total Beach wireless headsets take that and there's gonna be a little plug a little like jack uh, open jack on the side of this thing you can see it's gonna plug in right here off to the side of the transmitter and then you're just gonna run it along and then it goes into the back of your PS4 in here there's a little plug in in the back that says digital optical in or out on the back of your PS4 so that's gonna be it I'm now gonna show you what you're gonna do to set um, this up in PS4 in some of the PS4 settings that you're gonna need to do before you get uh, your before you get into getting your headset mic to do live commentary and all that kind of stuff. So now I'm gonna go into the PS4. I'm gonna show you what's going on there. So let's get ready to go. Hey guys. So now we are on the PS4. And we're going to do these PS4 settings that you need to do before you start hooking everything up, right? Well, you've already hooked everything up, but you want to make sure that um, your PS4 will put the audio out here. So, let's go into the PS4 settings. You're going to scroll down to sound and screen. When you get to sound and screen, you're going to go to the audio output settings. You're going to, if you have wireless headphones, you want to make sure that this is not HDMI out. It's, gonna, it's probably going to be on HDMI out for you. Uh, change it to digital out optical if you put that optical cord in this is what the optical cord would do is send the audio through to your um, to your uh, computer so you can get that uh, headset to work on there also once you hit this it's gonna change here if you have Astros you should they should be Dolby Digital uh, compatible so you hit Dolby Digital if they're not if they're Total Beach headsets just leave this the linear PCMs it's what you want and they already corrected hit for you, so you there. So uh, also make sure this is linear PCM if you have Turtle Pe Turtle Beach and uh, by stream Dolby Digital kind of Dolby Digital sound there. If it's Astros, I guess. So now we're gonna go out. Now you're gonna go down to devices. When you go down to devices, you're gonna go to audio devices, and you're gonna go to output device. When you hit output device. You guys, there should be only like one or two here. Uh, this, make sure this is TV or AV amplifier. So that will make the audio go to your headset. And that will be good there. This should be none. I don't have it in. It's plugged into the computer right now. So there's no device plugged into the uh, PS4. So that should be good. So now we're going to go back over. Once you're done with that, you're going to come back over to the computer and I'm about to show you what we're gonna do on the computer uh, so we can get that worked in and this is perfectly okay now so let's go to the computer and show you what you're gonna do in here hey guys so now we're back on the computer so let's go ahead and get into it now we're gonna go first you're gonna go to the taskbar and the speaker so this is your speaker audio here you're gonna see like a percentage come up if you still got your speakers on go ahead and hit that right click on that and go to, I don't know if you can see it, it's not really good, uh, clear. 
if it says playback devices now you can see it playback devices you're gonna go in here and hit playback devices and you're gonna left click on that now this is gonna come up so this is gonna come up and if you have your uh, your USB transmitter plugged in uh, to your computer you should get this come up and it should say speakers ear for stealth 400 chat whatever turtle beach wireless headset you have and it should come up and like kind of give the description of the device you have in what you're gonna do is on this you're gonna right click it and then come down here and put set as default communications device uh, it's already on here so I don't have to worry about it it's just kinda doing it over again but this will kinda come up here so it doesn't matter but now this is gonna be set so you're good here you have the default device so it won't start switching because sometimes if you don't have the default device guys it will um, switch it back to the the speakers from your computer and that's not what you want you want the speakers uh, you want it going through to your headset your speakers going through your headset the audio so now we're gonna hit OK you're good there so now we're gonna go into the Elgato uh, um, device and we're gonna go into the settings here so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna come up here to the HD preferences you can see where my thing is going here we can go to HD preferences and you're gonna go to sharing sharing right here now this is how you're gonna get um, your own audio and kinda like be able to render it where you get your own audio the the audio itself in the video so you can edit it yourself and you're gonna get like a meshed up thing so what you're probably gonna have uh, when you open this up is all of these or either this one and this one or something uh, is gonna be like clicked and this one these are not going to be so it's gonna say mix the following tracks to exports this will make all the audio and the video uh, game audio compressed into one video or, or the screen or whatever you had like let's say I play destiny um, I shot and kill somebody and I laughed or something my laugh the audio from the game the gun sound whatever it's all meshed into that one vid of me um, killing that guy so what's gonna happen is you're not gonna be able to be able to um, be able to edit the audio without editing the game audio so that's what you don't want so right here it's gonna say export to separate files what you're gonna want to do is unclick all of these and come down here to this live commentary audio and definitely click this one if you have a webcam you want to click this one too probably um, click this this will help you ed edit um, your audio it will make two separate files um, one with one with the game audio and the and your own headset audio that's gonna come into the thing and then one without it uh, it's just gonna like leave it just a blank sheet so that's a pretty good thing so this will hit OK uh, if you're the first time you'll hit OK I'm gonna hit cancel because it's already on there for me so uh, next after that you're gonna hit the commentary button now at this point you're gonna wanna make sure that your headsets are paired your Turtle Beach headsets um, if you came, if it came, if you came with the, uh, if you came with the Turtle Beach headset, what you're gonna do now is uh, tra that transmitter right there. You're gonna want to power that on. There's instructions in the manual. There's a little button on the side which you let get a paper clip or a safety pin. Like right here, I have the safety pin that I paired it with, and it goes right here in a little slit. And then you're gonna pair that with the uh, Turtle Beach headsets right there. I have them on. So then. Now I'm gonna come back over here, and then once you pair those guys, uh, this light should kind of like go solid just like that. It'll probably be blinking uh, really fast when you're trying to pair it, and then it'll go solid when you pair it, and it'll tell you on the Turtle Beach headsets. So now, once you come here, uh, these should pop up, and you should, especially if you plugged in the mic, because my mic is removable, so once you just kind of stick it in there, uh, stick in the hole, the jack uh, for the mic, it should... Uh, come up and the mic should start flashing like here like you see here it's giving me this color bar so this is mean I have um, the mic actually working and it's giving me microphone audio through the um, headset so this is exactly what you want uh, how you get live commentaries and stuff so you you would come down here if it's not already on this you would come down here and click the one that you want it's gonna say here for stealth 400 or whatever you got you gotta come in here and you obviously see that this mic is fluctuating uh, you want to dial it back if it's going up to the red, especially I'm not speaking in it right now, but if I sp spoke in it, if it gone up to the red, 
then you want to pull this back to lower if it's going too low then you want to pull it up I'm sitting at about 72 right now even though I'm not even speaking into it and it's giving me some audio so that's what you're gonna do and also leave this unblank right here this audio automatically reduced game sound leave that blank you do not want that definitely don't want that so leave that blank now you're going into um, you could test the recording by recording a clip over here and then uh, doing it and seeing if it works you could test that I'm not gonna test that right now but that's really gonna be it for right now now I'm gonna go and show you for the second part of this video how to record your party chat also so let's go ahead and get into that and that's gonna be next coming up hey guys so now we're on part two of this video so now we've got the headsets paired we got the turtle beach headsets paired uh, and now they're gonna bring out audio you can see by the screen little audio right there going right there um, so now we have the headsets paired and you can talk and get your own voice uh, through the audio but now it's time to say how do we still uh, how do we still talk in the party to our friends since we're only getting our audio and we can only we have to seclude ourselves so if I want to be in a party with one of my friends and still talk to them at the same time um, how would I do that so what would you do first is you want to have a second mic that is the hard part about PS4 you want to have a second mic uh, a USB mic preferably actually you need a second USB mic USB mic has to be so what I'm gonna do here is show you uh, the second mic oh shoot and there goes the second mic wow so uh, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna have a second mic a USB mic here I have a blue snowball mic uh, from Sn snowball so it's got a USB at the end you want one when I say USB mic uh, I mean this long cable here uh, it's got a long cable but it's got a USB at the end to plug into anywhere you see that USB uh, what you're gonna do is take this USB we're gonna go over here and we're gonna plug it into the PS4 let's see where I need to plug it in at so I need to plug it in uh, let's see I'm trying to plug it in guys one hand there we go so obviously it plugged in uh, red light comes on you can't really see the red light it's really a glare off of it uh, but there it is the red light comes on it gets bright so this means that the, U the USB is plugged in it's turned on you probably most likely want to get a plug-and-play snowballs are plug-and-play Logitech headsets are plug-and-play there's a lot of USB mics out there that are plug-and-play just plug them in and they automatically start working uh, you don't have to set up any drivers or anything or download anything it's automatically start working that's what they mean by plug-and-play so once you got that in I'm now gonna go to the PS4 and show you uh, what to do in there to get uh, your party going and be able to still hear and um, talk to people in your party while you're recording these things so let's go ahead into the PS4 hey guys so now we're back on to the PS4 since we since we now you have already uh if you're watching this video you should already have plugged in your second mic your usb mic into your um your ps4 us one of usb slots in your ps4 so let, now you're on the uh ps4 now we're gonna go up to settings uh we're just gonna check some stuff here to make sure that it's gonna be working we're gonna go to devices uh audio devices is next then go to input uh, this should come up as the USB microphone that you're using since I am using a blue snowball uh, this comes up as blue snowball if you're using a Logitech uh, it'll come up as Logitech if you're using anything else it should come up there and if it's not um, just switch it uh, to that one output device keep this as TV or AV amplifier it should just already like have this as this but just keep it as it that way and here you can adjust the microphone level uh, you know keep it in the good uh, keep it in the try to keep it in the good not too high okay so then that's really it there so then now if you want to check it I'm gonna go show you guys I'm gonna create a party um, I'm gonna create a party here show you guys how that that it is working so 
obviously I'm in a party and I am speaking in that blue snowball mic and if you if you don't have it in then it will not come up and um, show you that it is working now if any of these changes have not been made or if something is not right plug take your uh, snowball out uh, your USB out of it and then put it back into the PS4 see if it works then and if it doesn't work then then um, restart your PS4 and then it should work then so that should be the way to get it done so you see obviously that the notification says that I am speaking into the mic and I'm speaking into that USB snowball uh, so it is giving me that feedback if I had people in here they, could, they would most likely hear me because the thing is showing that I'm speaking in it and remember you can go down here uh, change your audio your adjust you can just audio mix to kind of like do the players in your team here it is you can do like I said they adjust the microphone level to make sure you're not too loud in the party uh, you could prioritize game chats and all that so that's what you guys can do though that's gonna be it for the video guys um thumbs up if you like the video I tried to help you guys out uh, I tried to not do it on OBS studio um, try to like do screen recording but I tried to do it with my um phone and tried to like show you guys what I was actually plugging in so you could see me plug in stuff and screen records that's why I wanted to make sure you guys were able to see so you weren't just like kind of left in the dark in those mixed spots there uh, but that's gonna be it guys thanks for watching um, thumbs up if you like the video and you uh, thought this video was helpful